we just got a verdict in the uh, very watched Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard trial, um, a trial that really did captivate a lot of the nation in a way that I didn't necessarily anticipate it. Um, but it really, you know, it it did sort of encapsulate this narrative of believe all women that we've been hearing and being sort of force fed mm -hmm. for, for years now. Do you, do you have thoughts on that trial and how it concluded and is the believe all women narrative dead? Well, I think no surprise, like most people with common sense, I was team Johnny in this case. Um, and I know that it really kind of was a big distraction to all the other things that were going on. You know, you had the Clinton uh, case going on at the same time. I think that the left maybe took it as an opportunity to do some things. The big SCOTUS leak. Yes, that, you know, the SCOTUS mm, leak. Yeah. All these things were going on. But when you look at this case, I mean, this drug on for about a month. And it really got to the heart of, you know, the he said, she said. It was amazing public, you know, theater in the world of Hollywood. And when you really started listening to some of the testimony and some of the clips back and forth from the ex so-called experts, but you started really seeing the nonsense of it all, right? And how dangerous it is when someone on a major platform comes out and makes a statement like she did, and it proves to be false. His entire life was essentially ruined. He had all different endorsement deals fall out, family members, friends fall out with him. And he even said, he's like, no matter how this turns out, my life is ruined. Because someone makes an accusation like that and the narrative has always been, you have to believe all women. I think you go back to trust but verify. And this, this whole trial, it definitely was a trust but verify situation. But do we really trust someone who craps the bed on, on purpose? I personally would not. <laughs> That's the question I have. <laughs> no, I, um, no, that was, uh, yeah, we, we, there were <laughs> so many, clean that up for you. there were so many moments of that trial that I was just like, what am I yeah. watching? It felt almost like a Netflix series. It felt like it was like they were trying yes. and now she's going to counter sue. And I'm like, oh, this is, this is season two. This like is we're going to, this is all, like you said, like a distraction from a lot of really real issues that really matter. Yes. And not to say that this, you know, the, I guess the Me Too does matter, but there are like very big news items, 40 billion to Ukraine, you know, bye-bye, mm -hmm. um, that kind of just went by the wayside. Cause yeah. it was, are you team Johnny or team Amber? I mean, heck, I remember going through the drive-through to get a cup of coffee and the tip jars were team Johnny, team Amber. Oh, and wow. there was not a single dollar in the team Amber jar. I mean, it really captivated the entire nation, really the world, in, in such a unique, crazy way. Yeah. And there were so many moments, like you said. I mean, uh, please tell me you saw the meth mouth doctor. I saw more <laughs> than I'm, I would like to admit that I saw. Yeah. Um, I saw a lot of, like, snifflings of possibly cocaine happening, too. Strange and things. Strange things. Strange things. <laughs>